The campaign trail is heating up this weekend for President Biden and former President Trump. Trump marked his 78th birthday at a rally in West Palm Beach, Florida, where he poked fun at his 81-year-old rival's age. Trump also vowed deeper corporate tax cuts and alluded to migrant danger. As for President Biden, he's appealing to older voters and enlisting the help of celebrities like Jane Fonda. Natalie Brand is at the White House. Natalie, good morning. Good morning to you, Jeff. President Biden arrives in Los Angeles this morning for a star-studded fundraiser later today with former President Obama, Jimmy Kimmel, George Clooney, and Julia Roberts. Both President Biden and presumptive GOP nominee Donald Trump are trying to replenish their campaign coffers as this race enters a critical next phase. Happy birthday, President Trump! Former President Donald Trump, who turned 78 on Friday, surrounded himself with his fan club in Palm Beach. Our country has never been in danger like it's in danger right now. Campaigning in his adopted home state, he took aim at President Biden over the border and once again made false claims about the last presidential election. The radical left Democrats rigged the presidential election of 2020, and we're not going to allow them to rig the presidential election of 2024. The remarks come as the co-chairs of the Republican National Committee, including his daughter-in-law, launched what they're calling a Protect the Vote tour in Michigan. If you are a person who wants to cheat in an election, we will find you and we will prosecute you to the full extent of the law. While the Trump campaign focuses on battleground states, it also argues it can expand the electoral map this fall. Everybody thinks they know where the voters are. I disagree with that. I think voters are, are, are rethinking their politics. They're rethinking a lot of things. It's sad to see members like that folding under the authoritarian politics of Donald Trump, but at least it clarifies the stakes for us in the 2024 election. Election. Less than five months until Election Day, the Biden campaign is crisscrossing swing states. The First Lady speaking to seniors in Reno, Nevada, alongside actress Jane Fonda. This election is certainly not about age. This election is about the character of the person leading our country. Vice President Kamala Harris returned to Georgia Friday to try and bolster support among black voters. The kind of work that, that our administration is doing, that President Biden and I are doing, in order for it to be real, it's got to hit the streets. Now, the First Lady campaigns in Arizona today before joining the president in Los Angeles. Trump, meanwhile, scheduled to travel to Detroit to address a convention hosted by a conservative youth group backing his campaign. Michelle. Busy weekend for them all. Natalie, thank you.